Let's say you've got a really big moment in your story, like a, an event, a big event or a twist or a um, big reveal or a shocking turn of event or something like that. Um, let's say, you know, then we pick from the card deck and this is the sort of event that happened. Someone's personal detail, like a secret, is revealed. Maybe their guilt is revealed to be known, or maybe their past, or their real name, or their plans, or some sort of hidden power that they have kept secret, right? And it's quite a big moment. Things like this, big moments like this, that happen like this, uh, they don't just come out of nowhere. When there are big revelations or big turns of events, um, and, and this can be quite significant in the right situation, you always see that sort of brewing in the past. And if you were to look back, you'd always see how this was always inevitable, or it was always somewhat likely. And this is how you set up these sorts of events. I mean, this is a good way of visualizing it. So when I when I sell these this story deck, uh, when I sell this storyteller deck, it, it might come with these little printouts. This is just a little drawing at the moment. And uh, this is a printout, of, well, this will be a printout of a good way of visualizing how to set up big moments, like reveals or turns of events and stuff in a story. This is kind of like how it's how it is like in real life. When something big happens, you can look back. And so what this encourages you to do is, let's say you've chosen that, that this is the big event, or, you know, you can even just write the event in yourself. You can draw this yourself at home. This kind of just guides you. It guides your thought process in the right way to look back at like, these are sort of roots, roots in time, to just look back and think about all of the possible little ways that this could have hinted, well, sorry, this could have been hinted by these past little subtle hints in the, in the past. Maybe someone was acting weird or maybe someone, uh, do you know what, I'm not gonna bore you with that. 